This is John. This is Steve coming to you from Flint's beautiful east side, Studio 1714. What's up? What's up? Who are you? My name is Greg. How did you get here? Uh, just walking down the street one day and here I am. <laughs> wow. Actually, no, it's a neighbor of mine, the gutter guy. The gutter you know, guy. The milkman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to touch today. Uh, we're going to call one of our favorite uh, YouTubers. Yeah, our YouTubian. Yep, our YouTube. Today is Yesterday we hit 10,000 views, so we thought we'd do a special little show today. and uh, Let's give him a call. Say fucks a lot. <laughs> do, 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 do. Are you ringing him? There he goes. Mr. Safe Fucks a lot. What's going on? Nothing much, dude. Just hanging out. Just hanging out, huh? We're going to turn you up so maybe the camera can hear you. All right, there we go. So, dude, how's the weather there? Uh, I think it's like about fucking 85 degrees or some shit. It's supposed to be like 90 this weekend. Well, it must be nice. Oh, shut up. Anyway, yeah, we're, th- we're talking about some of our favorite of your videos, man. And that one you did about the AIDS, man, it's like that one I think was priceless. I mean, could you kind of like tell somebody else about it, you know, like you're recapping what you said on that one? Well, uh, I don't know, man. I, I, like, I like that video. I just, um, I just made it because, I don't know, the, that whole situation fucked. And I just keep seeing all this shit on the TV of people that have fucking, you know, millions and millions of dollars and want me to fucking you know, give my meager fucking salary to some bunch of fucks that won't learn how to not fuck, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. <laughs> don't you love it too? People say, you can't tell people not to have sex. I said, and I always retry, I always go back, well, I'm not telling them not to have sex. I just say, wrap the willy, you know? And they can't even do that. Yeah. It's so stupid. Here's, here's what I'm really trying to say. I'm not even trying to say to not have sex or to not catch AIDS. But don't fucking cry when you fucking do something stupid and end up getting yourself hurt. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, right. oh, yeah. All right. Well, we got we got with us today. We got a guest. His name's Greg. He's gonna kind of run along some interviews. He's gonna run the interview with us. So uh, he's gonna pop in a few questions as well. Now, where did you get the idea for your suck versus don't suck? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, mean, I kept hearing shitty music, and that was basically it. I kept hearing shitty music, and every time I hear a shitty song on the fucking radio, I would put on a CD that doesn't suck, and then I would basically like. So what what do you would say sucks and what doesn't suck when musically there? Uh, I, I don't know, man. Like basically everything damn near that hits a radio wave these days is fucking ass. And uh, it, it, I'm only 22, man. But it seems like all the older fucking music, you know, at least people seem to have not been completely fucking bought and paid for before they even came out with their first album. Now. Like, I can't hear any music. Like, every song that comes out nowadays is the soundtrack to gay fucking, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're not a big fan of American Idol then, right? No, absolutely fucking not. I can't believe it. So what was, your, what, what was your inspiration for the show? Again? What was your inspiration for the show? No, the entire thing. I think he means the entire getting out there and saying what you want to say. The whole idea of that. Oh, you mean for the whole channel thing? Yeah. Uh, it was just, I don't know, dude. I, 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 uh, I guess I heard about YouTube and I got on and I started looking at videos and I was fucking just looking at everything and I was like, I don't know. I was, I basically couldn't, I didn't really see anybody, it seemed like, like I heard opinions and shit and I saw really great videos and I was, Laughing my balls off and shit, but I was like, you know, maybe I could get on here and, and make some shit, and maybe some fucking people will watch this motherfucker. I, I, I it's kind of. Was that one of the? Well, one of them, just one of them drunken nights, uh, drinking your Jim Bean and Coors Light shotgun and beers, and getting on the computer. Yeah, something like that, man. I mean, I just, I, I don't know what the fuck. It was football season, and I was just, I don't know. I was probably pissed because the fucking Cowboys were losing. Like that was goddamn do. <laughs> I was just like, fuck it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, it also had to do with, uh, my video came out shortly after Arizona voted for some fucking law that uh, makes people, uh, you can't smoke in businesses and shit, and, and it really fucking pissed me off because it didn't, 
you know, it, I don't own a fucking business, and I think that's a, I think that's a bullshit law to even be on the fucking ballot because I, I think all that does is uh, strip business owners of their fucking liberty and uh, their ability to fucking serve the people that they want, and I don't think it. I think the only fucking choice the consumer should make as far as that is fucking walk out the door or stay the fuck out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't even smoke, and I get tired of some people getting, like, uh, they want me to call bars and all restaurants totally for smoke-free. I feel that's, like, kind of loses the ambiance of some bars. You expect smoke-filled bars, you know? It's stupid. Yeah, just, yeah how are you going to go to a bar and not have cigarette? I mean, I really. Mean, I, I, I don't either, man, but... <laughs> You know, I, I, if I go into a fucking bar, I'm gonna smoke like a half a pack. I'm gonna get real drunk. I'm gonna grab a girl scout bath. I'm gonna do all of that shit that you're not supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These fucking people. What is a girl scout bath, dude? What is that? What's that? What's a girl scout bath? No, I said I'm gonna grab a girl scout ass. Oh, okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they, they, they like the. Uh, preach morality and stuff, all these PC shits, yet they don't have any morality, what I see, except for trying to make everybody do what they want them to do. I'm sick of that crap. Yeah, you know? yeah dude, I mean, it's like, it's not your fucking business. You're not going to see the profits, you're not going to see the losses. All you're going to see is some fucking shit on a ballot and some fucking propaganda from a company that is making their money off telling you not to smoke, just like the companies that make their money off telling you to smoke. I mean, and it's fucking stupid, dude. I mean, what the fuck happened to free will? Why are people so willing to give up their fucking liberty? Uh, why the fuck does everybody have to make people's decisions for them? Why can't you just go, yeah, you know, I don't really want to smoke. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck happened to that? Yeah, it's just like, well, it's nanny state. That's what they want. They want to take care of you. Yeah, so. they, 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 want, they, they want fucking everybody to do everything for them, including make their fucking decisions. And I fucking had it with that shit. And it pissed me off. It shouldn't have even been on the ballot. It's, it's not, it has nothing to do with anybody else. I mean, it was about fucking, it was about business owners. The whole, and if anybody was going to vote, it should have been just fucking people with own businesses. I don't know why the fuck I was even able to vote about somebody else's fucking ability to make a dollar. It's the stupidest shit I ever saw. I agree. Right. So we probably got to wrap this up here. So yeah, we definitely yeah. appreciate you for being on here today. Just be thankful you don't have the Lions for a football team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw I saw the Lions actually play this year, man. They played uh, they played Arizona here in Arizona, and I, I I saw that shit. And I was you know because I was so pissed off at how shitty Arizona was doing, even though I'm a Cowboys fan. I went to the game and the fucking I was hoping that Detroit would pull it out, man. And they ended up getting their fucking asses handed to them, and I couldn't fucking believe that Detroit got beat by fucking Arizona. Well, if you lived up here, you'd believe it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, we gotta get out of here. Thanks again. Right. Thanks, Jim. Have a good one. Have a good one. All right, you guys take it easy, man. All right, take it easy. All right, later. Later. Bye. Bye. Well, this is John. This is Steve. This Coming. is Greg. They're coming to you from Studio Seventeen Fourteen.